Hello everyone, welcome back and today in this video, I will show you how to fix black screen in your RPCS3 and how to fix black screen with sound on your RPCS3 and how to fix uh, black screen after updating uh, of your uh, RPCS3. So let's get started. Guys, I have many solutions of this problem for black screen on your RPCS3, so do not skip any part of this video. First of all, make sure your RPCS3 is up to date. Go to help and check for updates. Now click on yes and uh, after updating your RPCS3, you can fix black screen on your RPCS3 and in some case uh, after updating your RPCS3, you can face the black screen or crashing problem uh, on your PC for your RPCS3. So I will show you uh, the solution of uh, crashing or black screen problem on your RPCS3 after updating. If you have recently updated your RPCS3, then close your RPCS3 and right click and open file location and delete your this folder dead flash. Delete it and close it. Now reopen your RPCS3 and reinstall your firmware files. Go to file and install firmware files solution number two if you're still facing the issue for your rpcs3 then right click and go to change custom configuration and go to advanced tab and if you have already selected maximum number of uh, spu or s set then select from here unlimited default and apply and save custom configuration now you can play your game without the black screen on your RPCS3. And solution number three, right click again and go to change custom configuration and uh, uh, go to GPU options and select from here Vulkan or OpenGL. If you select disable video output, then you can face black screen with sound on your RPCS3. Then select Vulkan some games workable with Vulkan and some games workable with OpenGL. So you can try both options one by one. But I recommend Vulkan from here and after selecting Vulkan, select your graphics device over here. If you are using multiple GPU devices, then select from here your powerful GPU. So I am using only one GPU device in my PC as a GPU. And if you want to use Vulkan with your graphic device, then go to search bar on your Windows and type here Device Manager. Go to Device Manager Control Panel and go to Display Adapter. It's very important thing guys. Now click here Display Adapter. Now you can see over here my GPU device name NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750. So you can see over here. If you want to use Vulkan with your GPU device, then right click and go to properties and go to drivers and you can see over here your driver date and driver version already installed in your PC for your GPU device. If you are using older version drivers, then please update drivers for your GPU. If you have older version drivers, then you can face black screen with sound on your RPCS3 with Vulkan for OpenGL and apply and save custom configuration and for more solutions if you're still facing the issue right click again and go to change custom configuration and uh, go to gp options and check this option and check it and check this option right color buffer and select from here number four and go to advanced tab and uh, you need to select from here driver wake up 200 US or 300 US and check this option read color buffer and check this option debug console mod and apply and save custom configuration after the settings you can fix black screen issue for your RPCS3 for any game 
If you are still facing the issue like black screen or caching problem or any other issue on your RTCS 3, then right click again and go to change custom configuration and uh, go to GP options and check this option right color duper. If you are trying to play Demon Soul game in your RTCS 3, then you can enable this option right color duper and go to CP options and select from here recompiler ASM GIT. If you are using recompiler LLVM, then select from here this one and apply and save custom configuration. After these settings, if you still facing the issue, then I have another best solution of this problem. Right click and go to change custom configuration. Go to GP options and check this option strict rendering mod and apply and save custom configuration if this mod does not work and does not fix black screen then you can disable it apply and save custom configuration for more settings and solutions, right click and go to NVIDIA control panel and uh, control panel for your GP device, whatever you are using, Intel HD graphics or AMD GP device. Now click on restore and yes and go to adjust image settings. Check this option and select performance from here, check this option and apply. And go to manage 3D settings and scroll down. And OpenGL running GPU if you want to use the OpenGL on your uh, RPCS3, then select your GPU device from here. Scroll down and texture filtering quality, select high performance and power management mod, select high performance from here, maximum performance and click on apply and go to configure surround and you can select your powerful GPU from here. I am using only one device as GPU so this is why I select uh, my GPU device and click on apply and it's done now close it and uh, for more settings right click and go to display settings and uh, scroll down go to graphic settings and uh, remove your old application from here click here and you move and browse and go to your rpcs3 application file right click and open file location and select this application file you can see add and options and high performance and save now close it after these solutions and settings, if, if you're still facing the issue, then uh, right click again and change custom configuration and select this one from here and uh, select this one from here and go to GP options and select default resolution scale and frame limit off and uh, disable your anti-aliasing and go to advanced tab and check this option now apply and save custom configuration so guys these settings can fix your black screen issue on your rpcs3 so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching guys bye bye see you in the next video